and Jenny Gall all have regular day jobs, but they're also independent businessmen. Three years ago, they formed a small company to make high-quality dress socks. Steinman, an active-duty U.S. naval officer, came up with the idea during a tour of duty overseas. I actually didn't like any of the socks that I wore because they kept falling down. I felt they weren't made especially well. And so after that assignment was over, I started thinking about what would it mean for me to get socks that I really did like, and that was the genesis of Penance Hall. Two guiding principles drive their company's philosophy. Their socks have to be made with the finest quality materials, and although they could be produced more cheaply overseas, their socks have to be made in America. Fred Turner's wife's good. We don't really make a lot of things in this country anymore. It's a service-based economy. It's a financial-based economy. Uh, there's not a lot of things that you can touch and feel that are being made by American hands. And so we wanted to kind of reach back to that tradition and be a part of reviving that. So every component that goes into their product, from the sheep that provide the ultra-fine wool, to the custom formulated dyes, to the factories that weave them into socks, are all American. Even the boxes the socks are packaged in are American, made in a factory in Pennsylvania. Thanks for listening, and please back us on Kickstarter. The partners finance the bulk of their enterprise through an internet site called Kickstarter. Show your true colors. Back at Penance Hall. On Kickstarter, we said, this is what we're trying to make. We told the story of the socks, and then gave people the opportunity to pledge a small amount of money in exchange for socks in the future. They raised more than $50,000, which allowed them to produce 5,000 pairs of socks. The first run of Penance Hall dress socks are ready to be shipped to about 1,000 customers worldwide who pledged during the Kickstarter campaign, and new customer orders will be filled in the coming weeks. It was really exciting to see that we had customers from all across the U.S., but then also all across the world who are going to be getting these socks in the next couple of months. If their pricey socks sell well online, the partners hope to expand their clothing line and make them available in stores in the U.S. within the next 10 years. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington. being made at this knitting mill in North Carolina are anything but ordinary.
go. The students in this workshop are learning to use spray paint to make graffiti that yeah. beautifies rather than deface it. So I've heard that, you know, it seemed like a very sort of crude instrument, but just being able to see what uh, artists are able to do with it is really amazing. So I'll put it on a little bit stronger than what I actually need. They practice on small walls, but Liberia native Eric Ricks, a graffiti artist who used to paint on buildings illegally, but is now getting paid by the city to share his talent with aspiring young artists. It's one of those things I love to share and to see young people pick it up with the passion that I myself had, because I feel like I'm a, I'm a big kid just as much as any one of them. The workshop is part of a program called Murals DC that city officials have created to overcome their graffiti problem. After 10 weeks of training, most of the students work with Ricks to create a vibrant, one-of-a-kind mural on a wall which was once defaced with graffiti. And I guess being an immigrant, I have to say, man, I am truly living the American dream because it, it's, it's the only place I can think of that I've ever been that you could take something so off the cuff like graffiti and turn it into a, a, a something that you can live off. After Ricks makes the initial sketch, his apprentices help him paint the background, fill in the shapes and words, and then paint the images. This is just one of 50 murals the city has commissioned since the program began in 2007. Ania Khan Udofia, a well-known muralist, recently completed his eighth mural for the city, this one for a public aquatic center. Instead of defacing property, what we do is we, uh, I show them how they can collaborate with artists like myself and create something that not only they can get paid for, but they can also get praised for. Nancy Lyons is a spokesperson for the Department of Public Works, which funds the program. Mural DC is, it's been, it's a cost-effective program. It saves a lot of business owners money, particularly small business owners. Owners like Sarjeet Singh Kochar, who appreciates the mural Rix's painting on the back wall of his store. I think this is a beautiful contribution from my part for the community that the clean building, nice artwork, and everybody's happy. Ernesto Zelaya is a graffiti artist who, like Ricks, used to paint illegal graffiti, but now creates murals for the city for pay. It, it's nice to be out in the open to, to express myself because I get to explode and just, you know, show a lot of emotion as well and just be who I am, I guess, you know. A theme that's very close to my heart, um, it represents words that I live by, that I think every community needs more of, uh, and that's empathy, love, and of course passion, because without that you can't do anything. Griggs plans to carry his passion on a journey across America where he hopes to paint a mural in every state. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington. There you go. There you go. The students in this workshop are learning to use spray paint to make graffiti that yeah. beautifies rather than deface it. So I've heard that, you know, it seemed like a very sort of crude instrument, but just being able to see what uh, artists are able to do with it is really amazing. So I'll put it on a little bit stronger than what I actually need. They practice on small walls, but Liberia native Eric Ricks, a graffiti artist who used to paint on buildings illegally, but is now getting paid by the city to share his talent with aspiring young artists. It's one of those things I love to share and to see 